Hello my dear students the topic of sequences is uh, sometimes easy sometimes difficult to interpret uh, and that's why i i'm going to solve uh, a few questions few more questions on this topic so that you people can do it uh, uh, properly and you can interpret the questions easily i'm solving exercise 7b of deep on 7th edition and uh, this exercise is about uh, finding a general term of a particular given sequence so let us start from question number 1 and that says find a formula for the general term of each of the following sequences so basically you need a formula that will give you the general term so let's start from part number a i am writing down a formula over here for general term tn this is for general term is equal to t1 plus n minus 1 into d here tn you can say it is nth term t is for term number t1 is first term n is number of terms how many terms are there in your sequence actually this is infinite this dot mean it is infinite and d a very important one it is common difference d is common difference now i will explain uh, all of these terms one by one first of all i am going to talk about t1 from this sequence t1 as i have written here it is first term of the sequence given and the first term is 7 so t1 is 7 quite simple every first term of each of the sequence is basically t1 term number 1 the concept of d is common difference common difference mean you have to subtract two consecutive terms any two consecutive terms like 13 minus 7 the result is 6 or you can take 19 minus 13 the result is 6 or 25 minus 19 the terms should be consecutive point number 1 secondly you have to subtract next term first you, you need to write next term mean if you are taking these two consecutive terms then 25 should come first and then 19 will be subtracted from 25 25 minus 19 6 so actually this is same that's why it is known as common difference mean subtraction of any two consecutive terms now in finding a formula for the general term you need these two things t1 term number 1 and d the difference between any two consecutive terms of the sequence that will give you d well this is arithmetic sequence it has same difference in all the terms now writing down the general general formula for general term i am just putting the values over here <coughs> tn tn will not be disturbed it will remain tn T1 is replaced by 7 plus n minus 1. You will not uh, do any any change here, and d will be replaced by 6. The value of T1 is 7. The value of d is 6. We have obtained that by subtracting two consecutive terms. Now you can do further simplification or expansion. 7. normally your question is complete up till here but you need to do a couple of more steps 7 plus the students used to do mistake over here now this 6 is being multiplied by the bracket that means 6 has to be multiplied by all the terms inside the bracket 6 will be multiplied with n it will become 6n 6 will be multiplied by 1 no there is another sign mistake of sign over here 6 into minus 1 is minus 6 no make this thing clear 
multiply 6 with all the terms inside the bracket. Now your answer is 7 minus 6. 7 minus 6 is 1 plus 6n. Now this is the general term of this sequence. Uh, if you want to restrict your answer up till here, you can do so. This will give the same answer as this one. Now the general term is beneficial how? If you want to find any term of the sequence other than the given terms. Suppose we have been given term number 1, term number 2, term number 3, term number 4, term number 5. What about term number 20, term number 30? So I want to find term number 30. Then this general formula, this one will be the one which will help me over here. Term number 30 mean you will put n, n equal to 30, n is term number, n is the required term. If I want to find the term number 30, put n equal to 30. So n, now if I want to find term number 30, what is term number 30? So simply put n equal to 30 in this general term formula. So T n will be replaced by 30 that is term number 30. 7 plus n is replaced by 30 minus 1 into 6. You can use this one as well. This is simplified form. <coughs> that is 7 plus no solve inside the brackets first as per board mass 30 minus 1 is 29 into 6. So 29 into 6 better to do calculations don't avoid calculations 9 6 times 54 5 6 2 times 12 plus 5 17. That is 7 plus 174. And the answer is 7 plus 174 will give you 181. 181 is your term number 30. That is not basically asked in this question, but I just obtained that one. So this is how you are going to find the formula for n term. And then you can find any term as you like. Second sequence is minus 4, minus 1, 2. 5, 8 and yes definitely we have it is infinite sequence because it is going on and on. Minus 4, minus 1, 2. Uh, so first of all I am going to use this one to find the general term and as I have told before I want the value of T1. T1 is term number 1 which is minus 4. And what about D? The difference between two consecutive terms. Difference between two consecutive terms. Any two, whatever you like. Usually students used to do mistake over here because both are negative. So actually minus 1, I, if I am taking these two consecutive terms, then minus 1 minus minus 4. The mistake lies over here. This is the weak link inside your calculation. Usually students used to do mistake over here. Minus 1 minus multiply by minus is plus. Minus 1 plus 4 is plus 3. So D is 3. And you can verify that by taking these two consecutive terms. 5 minus 2 is 3. You may take the next two consecutive terms. 8 minus 5 is 3. And you can find the next term as well. By adding 3 in 8, you will get 11 and further terms. The purpose of general term is to find any term, any, any term that is far away from the given term. So, what about the next step? Find the general term. Now, that is quite simple. That is Tn equal T1 plus n minus 1 into D. So, Tn, that is nth term is equal to t1 t1 is term number 1 and in this sequence term number 1 is minus 4 plus n minus 1 don't disturb this one 
into d, d is outside u series 3. Let's become minus 4 plus, if you want to simplify it, you can do it. Uh, it's better to write simplified form over this 3 into n is 3n, 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. Number and number have the concept of like terms. Like terms mean which have like constants. Numbers and numbers are like terms. If you have variables and, and same variable like this is n and this is a variable over here because its value is not known. So number and number will be added and 3n is separate. It has a variable. This 3 is coefficient and is variable. Keep it separate. It is, these are constants. These minus 4 and minus 3 they are constant. While 3n has a variable n and 3 is no coefficient. So th these two are like minus 4 minus 3. Minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. Another point of mistake. Another point of mistake. Minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. Most of the students don't have very much good idea of this. The concept is same. Plus 4 plus 3 is plus 7. Now do the same for negative as well. Minus 4 minus 3 is minus 7. This is your general term. You can find any term. You can find term number 100. If I ask you to find term number 100, use n equal to 100 over here and over here. You can use this one as well. The next one is part number C. Part number C, 60, 67, 74, 81 and 88 and the question stays the same. You have to find the general term of the given sequence. And as I have discussed that general term is Tn is equal to T1 plus N minus 1 into D. So you can have that from here. Uh, Tn will be as it is. T1 is term number 1 which is 60 plus and minus 1 into d, d is the difference, the common difference between two consecutive terms, 67 minus 60 will give you 7. You can simplify it, it becomes 60 plus 7 into n is 7n and 7 into 1 is 7. So, solving it further, 60 minus 7 is 53 plus 7n. This is your required general term and you can find any term you want from this one. The next question is question number 2. Question number 2 says given that the nth term Tn is, is basically the representation of nth term of a sequence is this. Now observe the difference between this question and the previous question. In this question, you have been given by the nth term, nth term is given and you have to find the fifth term and eighth term. Previously, a sequence was given and we have to find this thing, nth term. Now this is given and when nth term is given, you can find any term and I am going to find fifth and eighth term and then we are going to take the LCM. So, write down that term, Tn is equal to 2n plus 5. This is the nth term. Because I have to find the fifth term, fifth term. So, keep in mind, when I am talking about fifth term, you have to use n equal to 5. For fifth term, so think, think about this one. For fifth term, it should be T5. It should be T5. T5 is the fifth term. So n should be 5. Then it will become T5. That is fifth term. So use n equal to 5. T n equal to 5 because I am talking about fifth term. n equal to 5 plus 5. So that becomes 5 into 10 plus 5. And that becomes 15. So term number 5 is 15. What about 
टर्म नंबर एट द एथ टर्म फॉर एथ टर्म यूज एन इक्वल टू एट वेयर इन दिस जनरल टर्म फार्मूला और एथ टर्म फार्मूला टी एन इज इक्वल टू टू एन प्लस फाइव दिस इज गिवन यू कैन फाइंड एथ टर्म बाय पुटिंग एन इक्वल टू एट एन इक्वल टू एट नो इट बिकम्स टी एट एन टी एट मीन एथ टर्म इज इक्वल टू टू एन इज एट प्लस फाइव टू मल्टीप्लीकेशन फर्स्ट देन एडिशन अकॉर्डिंग टू बॉड मैथ ऑर्डर ऑफ ऑपरेशन एट इंटू टू सिक्सटीन प्लस फाइव इट बिकम्स ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज टर्म नंबर एट दो टर्म नंबर फाइव इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टर्म नंबर एट इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू नो फाइंड देयर लोएस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल सो दैल सी एम लोएस्ट कॉमन मल्टीपल ऑफ फिफ्थ टर्म एंड एथ टर्म दैट मीन यू हैव टू फाइंड दैल सी एम ऑफ फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी वन यू कैन यूज एनी ऑफ द मैथड्स यू कैन डू दिस बाय लेडर मैथड थ्री फाइव टाइम फिफ्टीन थ्री सेवन टाइम ट्वेंटी वन फाइव वन टाइम फाइव एंड सेवन वन टाइम सेवन So the LCM is seven into five, thirty-five. Thirty-five into three is one zero five. Is the LCM lowest common multiple of fifth and eighth term? So this is up to question number two. So I hope you have understood. Uh, still, if you have any query, uh, you can discuss that. Thank you so much.